Artlaw TV presents Art and Ideas. What does copyright law recognise as art? Escape Vehicle number six um, started as a live event. It was a commission for Arts Catalyst's um, Artist Air Show. And my project was um, sending a chair from the surface of the earth to the edge of space. So, so what people saw on that day was a chair um, beneath a weather balloon and um, the, the, the chair sort of slowly uh, rose through the, the clouds and kind of disappeared to become a little speck. So you saw the chair sort of rising through the clouds and then finally um, you saw, saw the chair dangling against the curvature of the earth and black space. And um, sort of the final thing was that uh, the balloon eventually breaks and so at that point the chair started getting really sort of smashed around and so the sort of the final moments are these kind of Icarus-like sort of chair and camera very visibly in trouble. Grey Advertising subsequently made an ad for Toshiba. I mean I think the the advert is very skillfully made, it's actually a very, a very uh, beautiful piece of footage. Uh, I think the, the main difference is that the importance to me was the, well, one of the important things were, was the liveness. So um, I, was, I was sending off this, this camera, uh, in effect on a kind of suicide mission. The, the, the camera, the transmitter, the balloon, everything gets lost. So it's, it's reporting back from this journey, getting further and further away. Um, so, so the way that um, Grey Advertising and Toshiba achieved it was differently. A small company, Red Lion, um, a approached me and a number of other artists about the, the idea of commissioning new artworks by uh, working with um, an advertising agency. Um, so, so I went to one meeting um, with with Grey Advertising, and well, subsequently it it didn't really work out. And so, actually, the first time that I that I saw the advert was when people started sending me the the YouTube link. Escape Vehicle Number Six and the Toshiba ad are both based on the idea of sending a chair into space. Copyright law basically is there to protect the manifestation of ideas, not the ideas themselves. So he would have to make work and argue the work that was made in its material form, the shape, the perspective, any colours involved, um, was fixed in a material form so that it was capable of being copied in that material form. Whereas in the case of Escape Vehicle Number 6, the work is more about the movement and the event and what happens. And copyright law doesn't lend itself very easily to offering artist protection for those works against being used by advertisers. Simon Faithful is currently working on a project called Dead Sea Level. I plan to go to the Dead Sea and make a work that is, um, in a way, trying to materialise the, the fact that the Dead Sea is the lowest point on the Earth's surface. The sea uh, is, or, or this body of water, is uh, 418 metres below sea level. So, so you sort of go down and down and down into this valley. And when you get to the bottom, you're, you're 418 metres beneath where there should be the surface of the ocean. I've been talking to a Chinese um, firework manufacturer to produce a 16-inch 16, 16 shell um, mortar shell um, firework and to design this so that it will go up exactly 
480 meters and then explodes to describe with a sort of blue sheet of fire the surface of this missing ocean. Events are very difficult because from an artist's perspective, the entire event, both off camera or off any other physical manifestation or off a sound recording, may well be what the work is all about or the idea behind the work as realised by the spectator might be what the work is about. There might be all sorts of facets to a work, but copyright law has been developed over the centuries only to protect things that are physically manifest in a fixed material form. The, the work has a sort of a, a number of different um, ways of being transferred from me to an audience. And so the, the first place is the, the proposal. And so I've, I, I guess I've kind of developed a practice where the proposal quite often becomes exhibited itself, um, uh, usually before it's it existed as a sort of enacted work. With, with Dead Sea Level, the, the sort of the next instance would be the actual event. So um, people standing by the shore of the Dead Sea in November, uh, hopefully, will will see uh, the these fireworks being launched and. Uh, and have this feeling of depth down into the earth sort of materialised as, uh, as these shells rise and explode. Once the event has happened or people learn about the event or the idea uh, of the event, then they are free uh, within the law to go off themselves and either recreate the event or do something similar. Um, uh, to manifest something that captures the idea behind, say, Faithful's Dead Sea uh, event uh, for themselves in that location or a different location. They're free to do so. That, that sort of rising firework and the explosion will be sort of burnt into this image as a sort of blue streak. And so that's what I imagine will be the one sort of iconic image from that event but I, I will also be yeah, using video and sound recording and um, maybe even other people's recordings that they make might become part of how that thing is documented so yeah all, all of those instances I think are different facets of the work. There are certain steps he could take um, to give him a measure of protection uh, under the law. For example, um, when the event itself happens, uh, he could film it, he could uh, negotiate with television uh, broadcasters to broadcast it, um, he could make limited editions of photographs, photographic prints of uh, aspects of the event itself. Those secondary documentations could be very useful material, physical manifest material, that he could use and sell and generate income from. The law only recognises certain material art forms as artistic works, and artists should also be clear that there is no copyright in an idea. For further details of this programme and other programmes by Artlaw TV, please go to www.artquest.org.uk.